Okay, now we're getting ready to make some measurements, and we'll use a ruler to measure the length. I'll show you that soon. To get the diameter of the wires and also the spacing between them, we're going to use this calip vernier caliper. It's got a vernier scale along the bottom here that you'll need to know how to read, and I'm going to give you photographs of, of the measurements. But this is a little too hard to see in this camera. I could try to do a close-up. But let's not bother because I've got this cool demonstrator. So here's the clamp. We're going to use it here. This, this roll of tape is like the wire. So we want to know the diameter of the wire. So we'll clamp it on. You can see when the, when the, the two uh, fingers are together, zero on the bottom scale lines up with the top scale. So this bottom scale, so that's the first marker. But the great thing about this, it was invented by a man named Vernier. Uh, he, what he realized is that if you make nine marks instead of ten here evenly spaced, then what happens is uh, you, you use the first zero mark to get where, uh, to get uh, closest to one of these marks along the top, and then you want, to in, you want to estimate what the interpolation is between here. And what you do is you go along the bottom scale until you find a line on the bottom and the top line up, and that is the reading from the bottom scale. It gets you an extra digit, an extra sig fig. So let's do this on the imaginary wire. If I want to get the diameter, remember that's not the radius. If I want to get the diameter, I clamp this on. And then we can even take it out and look at how to read this, if it'll focus. Here's the one mark. And this zero on the bottom scale is over to the left of it. So that's extra mark, that's the, nine, the point 0.9. And we're not all the way to the one, we're actually close to the point 0.9. So it's point 0.9 something, and the question is what? We can, it's going to be some small number, it's not halfway there, but if we go along here and find, oh look, one, two, three, these two lines line up, there's four and five, and you can see they change sides. So this will be point 0.93 and we've got an extra digit.